Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Aquarius. How are you guys? Hope you're all well this week. I will have singles readings up next Monday. You can check out my playlist then. Hopefully there'll be a message there for you. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what your overall energy is. Clear messages and guidance regarding the overall energy surrounding you. What does Aquarius need to know? Clear messages, please, for Aquarius. What do they need to know? What does Aquarius need to know? What wants to come out? Some kind of change coming? Okay. Ooh, you got someone around you coming around, offering you a new beginning. So there's some kind of change. Could be a communication, an offer. That's the seed that's being planted to build something. Oh, yeah, someone wants to date you. Uh, the Courting card, the Knight of Cups. Beautiful energy. I see Judgment, Libra energy. This person could have some Libra in their chart. Oh, yes. <laughs> Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Someone's making a decision here to let their guard down. Very nice. You may have a hard time believing this person. <laughs> they are rather strategic. Their strategy is to let go of something to allow things to just flow naturally this is someone who's going with the flow so they could have some water in their chart beautiful someone's take, making the decision to take their guard down yeah they're ready to go down this path this is a decision okay this is, could be a reconciliation someone coming back around you have to make a decision possibly aquarius Yes, could be a reconciliation, but it's someone's decision. They're becoming very clear. They're going to take their guard down. This is somebody who was a little guarded, a little defensive. Someone may have actually blocked you. They could be unblocking you and ready to move forward. Could have been someone who had one foot in the door and out at some point. They may be unsure of their feelings. They may have been dating this person on and off, but it's time for a decision, this judgment. Someone may have judged you wrong. They may have been guarded, defensive, okay? May have even blocked you at some point. So I think something is starting to move. This is going down that path. This person's coming in to speak the truth. Some kind of an epiphany. It's a win or lose situation. Oh, my goodness. What is happening here? Yeah, this is going to come in suddenly. An epiphany. Wow, this is going to go in your favor. It's very positive energy. I feel as what's happened is they're going to come and tell you the truth why they ended things. They may have ended things and even blocked you. They are guarded, maybe defensive. Um, you may have a hard time believing this person. I see a little Aries energy, a little that Mars energy, but this is a truth coming in suddenly. It's an epiphany, a sudden realization. Uh, maybe what happened, okay, why they ended things, but this is now going to go in your favor. There's a shift. There's change. Beautiful. Wow, it all depends on this person. <laughs> it's your decision, Aquarius. Tell me about the world. Why is this here? Why is the world here? What is this change all about? Uh, someone, Pisces energy. Is that water? Yeah, someone trusting their intuition. Someone is gaining some kind of insight, some kind of wisdom. This is someone who may have been keeping a secret, keeping their feelings to themselves. So trust your intuition. You're going to know who this is. <laughs> yes. So this is somebody who's kind of been doing some thinking here about a decision, a judgment. Maybe they judged you wrong. Um, this person's kind of gone within looking for answers. They've gone through some kind of changes here. So, yeah. Yeah, this could be something you've been waiting for. Aquarius. Waiting for this person to date you, to reach out. You may decide to end things with this person if they don't as well. Okay, I can see that possibly uh, you might even block this person. You may go off on a new path. But I feel there's it's more of this person's energy coming in because I see that Knight of Cups. Yeah, you're waiting for this person to date you. You're waiting for this communication. 
And I feel this person is uh, going on their intuition, okay? They're trusting their decision, their judgment. I feel someone either judged you wrong or you judged them wrong, uh, but I feel there's a, this is a very healing energy. This is that release, purging and releasing, letting go of things, okay, to have this new beginning. So this is definitely a transformation kind of energy. There it is, yeah, some kind of a transformation. <laughs> very nice. You're waiting for this, I feel. Uh, you're kind of looking out there, though. I feel as though, it, you know, if this, you don't get this offer soon. I do feel like you will stop waiting. You may change your mind, actually. So it's very, I do feel like you're kind of keeping something to yourself. The fact that you're waiting for this person. I see this world, this change. Yeah, whatever this is, this decision is going to change everything. And this, the decision is to go with the flow and let things just evolve, see where they go. Tell me about this King of Swords. This is someone who can be, you know, appear to be a little cold, a little guarded. Okay. Uh, I feel they're coming in, though. I feel there's this courting energy, this transformation. This person's coming around. King of Swords. Why is this here? Why is the King of Swords here? What's this person's intentions? What are their intentions? Ah, they have some regrets, remorse, a little bit of stress. Yeah, someone regrets maybe blocking you, feeling defensive, not taking their guard down and letting things evolve naturally. So they're making a decision. Someone judged you wrong and they regret it. Okay, you may have judged them wrong as well. It could go either way. A little bit of worry, a little bit of stress. This is someone who's up in their head, sleepless nights. I think someone's regretting something here. Seven of Wands. Yeah, so this cycle is ending. So this person may have had their guard, you know, been guarded or defensive. This is ending. Or they blocked you and they're going to unblock you. That's what I feel. They regret something here. So this is about to start moving in your favor. Things are start moving in your favor. And I feel this is someone who maybe things didn't go in their favor. Uh, maybe they came towards you and they were a bit wishy-washy, uh, in and out, kind of, you know, back and forth. Uh, maybe you blocked them. You decided to give up and end this cycle. It could go either way, but I feel there's something moving. This is about cooperation and compromise. Maybe this person wasn't sure if you were compatible, if you were the right person. I do feel like they're going to come in and speak this truth right here. Yeah, the truth is they've been stressed, worried. They feel, you know, badly. Uh, they regret this. So, wow, uh, there we go, yeah. So this person's definitely using all the power they have to stay on course. Uh, they may have uh, tried to control the situation and kind of lost control because they didn't cooperate. They weren't willing to compromise anything. So you may have taken off in another direction. So they definitely have some regret. I feel they're coming back in. This is a communication that's coming in out of the blue very suddenly. You're going to get some kind of truth here. The truth is, is what it is, is they regret something here. Yeah, see, there's that truth confirmation. Yeah, the truth is they were a little afraid. You weren't compatible. They have been hiding their feelings. Uh, some of you definitely want the truth, Aquarius. Okay, maybe a little mystery, confusion. They may have had some fears that you weren't compatible. They may have lost control, okay, because of it. But I feel they've got their emotions under control. They're staying on course. They're ready to go down this path. Uh, I feel this is someone who's going to come and speak the truth about it. Yeah, so I'm contemplating. They're on this journey within themselves, you see. They're going within. I feel this person's contemplating what happened, why it happened. They're going within. They're looking for answers within. They're shining a light on this within themselves. They know. Uh, they feel some kind of regrets. But they're ready to go on this journey. And wow. Yeah, look at this energy, Queen of Cups. Some of you, you know, kept your feelings to yourself. You may have had your fears. That is the truth as well. I think you both need to speak up, speak your truth. You know, it's kind of a win or lose situation. It's kind of no, no whatever happens, it's time for the truth. It's time for things to be cleared up. And I feel this person's contemplating, wondering if you've changed how you feel about them. Maybe they're afraid you didn't have feelings. They weren't sure how you felt. 
Uh, maybe this person's hoping that you can forgive them as well with that Queen of Cups. Man or woman, it doesn't matter. So this, this person may be asking for forgiveness here. Um, they may have had some fears, you know, maybe fears that you didn't, you know, care for them, feel the same way. They're contemplating this. So somebody who keeps a lot of feelings to themselves, I feel as well, because that's that King of Swords energy. Someone who's, you know, can act a little stoic or a little cold on the outside when inside they're actually uh, very loving, very nurturing, very caring. But I feel as though, yeah, they are, they're contemplating this. Wow. You're very much in control of your emotions here. Aquarius I feel both of you okay we're very much controlling your emotions that's the truth okay that's what's going to come out you both may have some kind of regrets you both may have judged each other wrong uh, you both may have been guarded you may have both blocked each other <laughs> this person's going to unblock you is what I feel it's the end of this cycle they're coming in they want things to go in their favor they got to take their guard down they were I think this person was guarded I think they had walls around themselves could be yourself as well tell me about this tower why is this here yeah see look at that yeah this person's definitely going to be shocked and surprised I think at what this person has to say they're definitely much more stable feel this person feel they had some kind of fears about something now I don't know whether it's whether well, there was you were compatible whatever the issue is here but it's about teamwork and cooperation compatibility there's some things you have in common <laughs> definitely feel this person is very stable very financial possibly quite well off I see that wheel of fortune energy this is a cycle that's ending and beginning. So this is somebody who wants things to go in their favor. They're coming in very stable. I think you're going to be very surprised, very shocked at what this person has to say. Uh, they're coming in to tell you a truth. I think this person maybe was a little, if they're financially stable, a little afraid of uh, something to do with their money, their finances, a legacy. They could be a business owner, a lot of investments. This is someone who definitely has that wheel of fortune energy, but they're looking at this. The only way to have things go in their favor is to speak the truth. The truth is, is I think you have a lot of feelings for this person. Or maybe they want to know the truth if you do. But yeah, there's that offer. They want to start this offer. They want to give you this seed. They want to plant this. They want things to go in their favor. It's something solid. It could even be a commitment. So someone who I think is coming to that realization that you're someone stable, reliable, someone who has their back. This person's looking for a partner. I think you're going to be very surprised. You might be surprised who this is. It's possible some of you may not realize, uh, but most of you probably do. It could be someone, uh, who knows, from a long time ago. I don't see a lot of reconciliation energy, just this judgment. It could be where someone's making the decision to come back around. Your decision will be as if this person hasn't changed, you will end it, okay? Even if it hurts, you will take control of your emotions, keep them under control. And I think this person lost control of their emotions at some point, became guarded and defensive, maybe a little angry, upset here too, you know, where they just kind of lost control. But I do feel like you are on the right path here, Aquarius, okay? So I think this person lost control of their emotions, or maybe you did. I don't know. It goes both way. I think there's regrets on both of you. Uh, a little stress, a little worry. It could be just, you know, a little bit of, you know, sleepless nights. This person's up in their head. Uh, they think about you at night. They think about you in the morning kind of energy. Yeah. Tell me about this transformation up here. Yeah, so this is someone who's definitely um, ready for change, ready for a commitment to build something. This is someone who may have ended another relationship or it's an end of this in and out energy, this dating. It's transforming towards commitment and marriage. It's something you're waiting for. You might have been waiting for this person to, you know, commit. You may have been dating on and off. They may have had kind of one foot in the door and out, but this is that transformation. This is that uh, foundation, building the foundation. This person's having realizations. So there is some kind of ending and some kind of a beginning, definitely. Tell me about the world. Yeah, so there's that seed being offered. 
it here or down there? Yeah, so there is a communication. You're going to look at it. You're going to stay grounded, okay? Keep your emotions in check. Keep your balance. Use the power you have to control your emotions. Don't let them get the best of you. I think you both did that. I think there was, you know, this energy where you both, one thing you have in common, you're both uh, very much in control of your emotions. You don't like to lose control of them, but you may have guarded defensive walls up. I think you both have walls around you, but I feel as though there's something changing. So look for the change in the communication. This is where you'll make your decision. You're going to look to see if this person's changed. Uh, you will make your decision based on that. Yeah, there's something here. Can you put this behind you, Aquarius? You're looking back at all this hard work. Looking at the detail, the work this person put into this communication. Can you put this behind you and move over? This person doesn't want to give up. They don't really... I don't think this person wants to give up. Uh, they can't seem to put this behind to them, okay? Uh, it bothers them. It stresses them. So there is definitely something here. Uh, where this person's hoping you'll accept this cup. It, I do feel it's an apology. It's I feel it's forgiveness. You are a little careful what you wish for. You're staying grounded here, I feel. You're a little cautious about investing in this person. Uh, it's telling you to be a little bit patient. Take your time to uh, think about what they have to say, whether it's a text message, a voicemail, a phone call. Just take your time. Uh, listen to what they have to say because I feel as though this is about this investing. This person wasn't invested emotionally. They were offering one cup and nothing more. Okay? So you're a little bit careful about investing. You may not be sure. You might be a little stressed. But I think this is someone who's waiting for the right time. Maybe the timing wasn't right. They didn't have a lot to offer at the time. So there is this clearing out, this healing, releasing negative thoughts, energy, kind of holding back. So there's been a break, some maybe a little time apart uh, to allow things to heal. Uh, it's a clearing of the air. Yeah, so some of you have kind of changed your focus. I feel like that's what this person's worried about. You're not focused on them anymore. Uh, you're, you're, you may have decided to let go of this person to focus on something else, but here they come. <laughs> Just as when you're ready to give up, here they are. They want to clear things up. Some of you have been going through a healing. You've been focusing on yourself. You definitely, anyone who comes towards, this is where you want them to focus on you in the right way. Uh, but I feel as though you've kind of turned your back. You've been kind of releasing this person. It's been a bit of a process. Yeah, this is the energy, ready to go off on a new path. They want to know if, you know, I think they want to clear the air. They're kind of waiting for you to heal, to get over whatever happened. I feel there's regrets. I do think this person's regretting not taking a risk. They could have a little Aries in their chart. Tower energy. A little Mars energy. Could be yourself as well. Not so sure you want to take a risk and invest in this person again. But I feel like it's them ready to take that leap of faith. They regret not taking a risk, taking that leap, going down this path possibly with you. And I think it's both of you have some issues there. Tell me about this Nine of Swords. This could be something that happens suddenly. I mean, you could have a little time apart to kind of clear your head, maybe sleep on it before you make a decision, a calculated risk, should you, shouldn't you invest. Yeah, see, this is about sacrifice. Someone sabotaged this. They have some kind of regrets. They weren't willing to sacrifice something. Um, I feel like it's sort of a self-sabotage. Uh, you both maybe feel that way. You were afraid to take a risk or they were. It has something to do with their money and finances, definitely. I think they're coming in to speak a truth about that. I think you know this person's secrets. <laughs> some of you may know. I do think you're you're very compassionate. You're being kind about this, but I do feel you're going to keep your emotions in check. You're staying on course. You are ready to go down a, a new path. Some of you are going to end a cycle with someone, possibly, who's got one foot in the door and out. You may be moving towards somebody who's much more stable. It could go either way, but I see this on and off. This is about getting off that emotional roller coaster, taking the guard down. Uh, some of you may have stood up to somebody as well and ended this cycle and you're ready to go off on a new path but i kind of feel like it's this person yeah so there could be something new something is being exposed 
Somebody wants to start something here. Some of you are ready. I think some this person's coming in to express themselves, to expose their feelings, you see. This is taking their guard down. Uh, everything needs to become illuminated. Well, it's time to clear things up. I do feel they want to start something. Tell me about the sun. A little Leo energy there. Yeah, so there's definitely uh, this reciprocity. Uh, something. This person wants to start something, but I think both of you are a little guarded, so it's sort of breadcrumbing each other. But I do see reciprocity. They want to start something. They want to be more generous with their time, their money. Uh, I feel that it feels very positive, but some of you are ending something. You're going to stop talking to someone. I see two solid scenarios here. You're going to take your uh, passion energy. Uh, you're going to control your emotions. You're using your power. You're taking your power back, some of you, and you're moving towards this other person. You could be ending things with a Scorpio. I do see a Scorpio energy, uh, Cancer or Pisces. Somebody who's very secretive. You may be keeping this to yourself as well. Trusting your intuition to stop waiting for somebody to make you an offer. It's time to end things. But I think you're transitioning towards something better. Those of you who have this choice. Others of you, it's the same person. They're going through this transition to do with marriage and commitment. Building a foundation. Somebody wants to build this foundation with you. Tell me about the power. Why is this power here? chariot energy yeah so some of you are definitely yeah ready to go down this path it's telling you to stay on course make plans for the future prepare yourself you're getting a heads up here uh, that this person's coming in it's either a new person and you're going to stop talking to somebody else but i feel some of you it's this person definitely for some of you it's the same person coming in with a new energy taking their guard down maybe unblocking you they may you know just reach out a little bit to see if you take it you see reaching out to <laughs> when i see those two together like that it's I feel as though you're going to control your emotions, you know. I think you're going to keep a few things to yourself. I don't think you're going to share a lot with this person at first. Just a little bit back and forth. Yeah, but you are on course. I do feel like, you know, you want you need to kind of communicate something back and forth uh, to see if you're on the same page, the same path. Some of you, you know, you've been single for quite some time. I can see that energy. You're taking care of yourself. Your emotions in check. Uh, some of you, you know, you're doing well. You're creating something for yourself here. You're making plans for the future. I see a Virgo energy, though. Could be yourself. Could be this person. A little Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn in your chart. That grounded energy. Yeah, some of you are ready for love. I feel like you are ready. You've healed and you're released. You're ready to take that risk again, that leap of faith to go on this new path. I think this person has, you know, regrets for not risking. They sabotaged something because they had their guard up. They were defensive. They weren't reciprocating. They weren't sharing of themselves. They weren't expressing themselves. Very slow-moving energy. Yeah, see, they weren't expressing themselves. They weren't sharing their feelings and emotions. They were holding back, you see. So the cycle ended. They may have been guarded, defensive. Uh, they may have even blocked you. Uh, this is emotional block as well. We have the King and Queen of Cups here. Yeah, we have the King and Queen of Pentacles too. Look at that. Uh, I feel as though you are being grounded. You are being practical. You're looking at this. You're looking out for yourself. You're focused on your money and your career. You're staying on course. You want a partner, someone who's compatible. I don't think you're going to go off course. No matter what happens, you're going to stay on course. Your emotions are in check. Okay. You're looking out for yourself. You're looking great, by the way. Some of you are... Um, you know, preparing yourself, taking care of your house and home. You may be getting your hair done. <laughs> you're preparing for this. Uh, I feel as though you're prepared. This person sees you as loving and nurturing. They see you as very caring, kind and compassionate, someone they can be comfortable with. But there's something here about what happens. You're not comfortable. Like there's going to be some truth. Okay, some aha moments. All right, Aquarius, I keep feeling there's a Libra energy here, and I do feel it's probably because of this King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's always here. 
Yeah, you're not so sure you trust the situation, something you're not comfortable with. I don't know what it is, but there is a miscommunication. It's time to clear up some kind of miscommunication. I've seen this in the Libra reading, I have to be honest. So some of you definitely have that energy around you. Uh, others of you, they could be a Leo or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I definitely see Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Really could be anyone, but there's some deep feelings. This is the truth. Someone had some kind of fears. Something to do with their financial stability, uh, a legacy, everything that they built. They wanted to keep everything for themselves. But I feel they're realizing they want to start something. They want things to go in their favor. Um, I think this person's hoping you can forgive them. But I do feel there's a miscommunication, but you're because you're not, I feel like you don't really trust this person, so you're looking out for yourself here. Maybe they didn't trust you. It could go both ways. We have that Ace of Swords twice. And that is the truth. It's time for the truth, the clarity. Okay? Win or lose. Ace of Swords. Or pardon me, Ace of Pentacles. Why is this here? Where does this go from here? Yeah, you're not so sure. You're not so sure. You're not so sure you trust this person. Maybe you've worried they're manipulating you. Whatever you do, whatever you communicate, maybe make sure you speak the truth, okay? I, I feel as you don't trust the tr this person, what they're telling you to be the truth. You may feel like they're manipulating you. I don't see it. I uh, Maybe it feels that way. I mean, maybe it is true. I don't know. But you're going to speak up. There's no doubt about it. Uh, this person is a little concerned about being rejected. I feel like some of you may feel like the offer's not good enough or you're not sure. So we'll see where this goes. Yeah, this person's a little worried about rejection, you see, that you won't reciprocate. You don't feel the same. They may have manipulated. Some of you have someone you're not trusting and you're just moving to another person. Uh, it could be some, you know, unrequited love, someone who doesn't feel the same way as you feel about them. Maybe you don't trust it. They don't trust you. <laughs> Not Nobody likes rejection. I see that. I think you both have those issues. Oh, my goodness. Four of Cups. Why is this here? Yeah, so... I feel that, yeah. You're not so sure you trust this person to tell you the truth. You feel this person's being a little bit sneaky, not telling you everything. But I feel like they're shining a light on this. They're trying to figure something out. Maybe this person rejected you. I think they're worried about rejection. I think this person's very much up in their head. I think you they know you don't trust them. I think they know it. I do think they're coming in very grounded. I do think there's going to be some kind of uh, something that's going to come out with this tower. It's not just an epiphany. It's a communication, a message, something to do with the trust issues. This might have been someone who's sneaky or just up in their head. Uh, they may have held back something here. Maybe there was a rejection at some point, but I think they're afraid of being rejected. They're trying to kind of figure this out. Someone's trying to figure out their feelings or how you feel about them. And that's why I think they were being sneaky. They were trying to figure out how you felt about them. I really feel this person, it's unrequited love, but it's because they're not sure you feel the same. But see, here you are. They're contemplating this. They're on soul searching. Uh, something to do with their fears, things that are hidden, confusion. You know, they don't know how you felt about them. And you didn't know how they felt about you because they were kind of holding back. They weren't expressing themselves they were breadcrumbing they you know that lack of reciprocity some of you felt this person was just playing with you they were being sneaky see they're trying to figure out there's great big love here you guys uh, the cards don't lie someone has a lot of feelings and emotions they're trying to figure out if you feel the same way about them they're grounded they're practical i think you're going to be shocked at what they have to say i think this person's actually realizing that you do uh, through something so let's let's look back here and see you may have offered one cup to this person and kept some feelings to yourself you may be looking back at that a look back here you see reflecting on the past I think this person felt you weren't focused on them or you felt they weren't focused on you. But this is that decision. The judgment was made. 
I feel like you judged each other wrong or you and or they judged you wrong uh, or the whole situation. There's a, some sabotage here, self-sabotage. Yeah, see, somebody was afraid to sacrifice, open up emotionally, afraid of rejection. I think you both were. There's some kind of regrets for not opening up emotionally, seeing that future. See, there's that clarity, that new beginning. I think this person really does want to. I feel they will come towards you. Uh, I don't see you budging, to be honest, though. I feel like you're just kind of looking out for yourself right now. Some of you are definitely very much in control, taking care of yourself. You've kind of gone off on this new path. But I do feel like you're kind of open to it. I do feel like you're open to it, but I don't know. You may need to kind of figure out how you feel about this person when they come in as well, if you can trust them or not. Or if you really do, there's something that needs to be looked at. It's saying to ground yourself to look at this. Some of you have everything but love because of trust issues. Maybe it's something to do with money. Maybe they didn't trust you. They didn't feel that you were financially stable or vice versa. I, I feel some of you know if they were hiding or keeping a secret, it was something to do because of their finances. I do think this person is quite well off or financially stable or they're concerned about that. Yeah, I see both of you. Yeah, two people coming together here, gaining the strength and the confidence. You both probably lacked it. And I feel this person's gaining strength and confidence, being very brave. Two people coming together here. I think this person's gaining that confidence to come in and reach out to share their feelings. I feel they're win or lose. I think they're headed for you. I do feel they have a little Leo in their chart. So they have that uh, sense of pride. Uh, or it's yourself. I see Leo and Aries energy or Scorpio. Pisces. Yeah, this is beyond the ordinary situation. This is an unusual situation. Uh, I feel this person is kind of different than your usual type. Uh, possibly both of you have that. But look at that. You have things in common. You're both focused on money, finances. You're both stable, grounded, maybe homebodies. You have things in common. It's taking the things that you learned, leaving the things that don't work behind. And that's what I feel needs to be done. But you're looking at that. Can you leave this behind? I don't know if it's trust issues from them because they played a little mind game with you or a big one it all depends everyone's story is different but I think they did it to try to they were this person was really wanted to win they were trying to figure out how you felt about them before they came and told you because this is somebody's got a massive ego uh, they cannot handle um, rejection I can see that energy they're actually deeply emotional Let's see with this Ten of Cups. Oops. Ten of Cups. Okay, yeah, perfect harmony. I actually feel like you have a lot in common. I feel like there's something you may enjoy the same kind of music. Uh, there's things that this person's thinking about. See, to have that harmony, for this person to get things to go in their favor, they need to open up emotionally. I think you both do, and I think it's time for the truth. I see the clearing of the air. Uh, some of you may uh, clear the air with this person. You still may move on, okay? It's still possible that you could move on, but I don't know. I, I think you've got someone that you felt was being sneaky, being a player. Um, maybe you rejected them when they came towards you. Maybe they've already, you've had a few on and off situations because of trust issues. I think this person's got an, an ego issue. They even sort of lean towards arrogance. I feel they're looking at that, this on and off, uh, why things ended, why things didn't go in their favor. And I think they know it. You aren't the ordinary person. You are different than their usual type. And I feel like that goes vice versa. Wow. This is not the, an ordinary situation. Um, Right, Aquarius. If I keep saying Libra, you got to, uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, it's here. It's in the heart. It's right there too. <laughs> it may not even be their sign, but it is the energy. Okay. It's justice. It's balance. It's marriage. It's commitment. You see, that's that energy. 
So this is that earth magic. This is that grounding yourself, keeping your feet planted on the ground. It's also a very healing energy. So this is your choice. You can either walk away from this person and end it, stop talking to them. Maybe that's what's happened. I see blocking, you know, being guarded, defensive, walls up. Somebody could even be barricading themselves in their home, kind of going into silent mode, hermit mode. Mm -hmm. Someone's definitely, or both of you for that matter. This is a journey in love here. Yeah, this is the possibilities, you know. Uh, you're looking at the possibilities. It could go any way. This person sees the possibilities being with you. The possibilities, they're endless with the two of you to build something. Okay, it's about putting your guard down, trusting the, you know. Some of you kind of feel as though you're going to be single forever because you have trust issues. You need to look at that. Okay. But it's very emotional. This is what gets me. I feel the emotion in this reading between both people. I feel this has definitely been that journey, that soul searching, looking for answers. This person was looking for answers. They were trying to find out if you felt the same. I feel like you both have, you know, this is what you both wanted was to know how the other person felt. We got a couple of people who are very guarded, very walled up. Don't share their feelings easy. See, this is someone who, you know, king and queen of pentacles, two people who can be very interested but act very aloof. And I feel that's partly the problem. <laughs> Those feelings, yeah. See, partly the problem. It's all smoke and mirrors. There you go. End of story. Come on, guys. I know you've got this, Aquarius. Okay, and for this person, if they are a Libra, I'm going to tell you, they are somebody who doesn't like to be off balance. They're someone who likes to stay on course, and I'm sure you know that. For those of you where there's a Leo energy, this is somebody who's very proud, okay? Their pride has a tendency to get in the way. I do feel this person is feeling badly. I really feel like they feel bad. They have a lot of regrets for not for starting something and then breadcrumbing, not reciprocating, not sharing their feelings, not exposing everything. See, it all needs to be illuminated by the truth. So this is where I feel like you're headed. I hope this works out for you, but there is a great big love here. Somebody wants to know how they feel. And I actually feel until they tell you how they feel, I don't know if you're going to move. I, I just don't know. Uh, I feel like you're looking at these trust issues and this being single. Do you want to stay single or do you want to trust in this? Uh, do you trust this person? I do feel like you have a lot in common. There's a, And I feel like what you have in common is uh, the emotional energy, the financial energy. I feel like you're a couple of homebodies. Two people who, you know, like to stay grounded. Two people who just want to be comfortable with someone. It's an energy of keeping things kind of simple. Uh, just letting it flow, seeing where it goes. Really interesting read. I wish you guys the best in this, but I feel this person, you may be surprised that they may come in and actually express themselves. I hope they do. Uh, because I feel you may not trust it though that's what I feel I don't know if you're going to trust it when they tell you that so take care and I wish you the best